There we have the minnow trap all set up here. We're just putting them poles here now to hang the minnow trap on. It's about three inches of ice. Three inches of ice on the bottom layer. You can see the thickness of the ice there. That's all really good ice. That was the bottom below the water in the, in the top layer of ice. So there's no problem to get out here and do this. Pretty safe going right now. I'm sure once uh, we get a bit more weight and more slush comes up, this will all freeze up and it'll be uh, really good going for sure. But it's nice right now. We got enough snow on the lake for the sliders for the snow machines and pretty well go anywhere right now. We can use a bit more snow in the bush for the snow machines, but it's still pretty good going. Chris just getting the slush out of the hole here. We're gonna set the minnow trap down. We got her all set up. <clears throat> Hopefully uh, we'll get a few minnows. Oh, I think we'll get lots of minnows. We had her set here last year and it was pretty good. <clears throat> you get different size of minnows and uh, good for doing some trout fishing and pike fishing and stuff like that. We do a little bit of everything. In the winter time, fish a lot of the smaller lakes we can't get to in the summer, so we fish them in the winter time on the snow machines, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> we'll put the trap down here, and there's quite a bit of water here, but uh, still lots of minnows here. Usually, we set our traps about two feet up off the bottom. Uh, see, there's there's bottom there. So we just lift her up a little bit, a couple of feet or so. Higher off. We always like to use clothesline wire, so that we're there if we do have to cut out our trap again, we don't cut the rope and lose your trap, at least with the cable. You don't have to worry about cutting it with the axe or anything like that. You can use a chisel or whatever you're going to use. There, that looks pretty decent. <clears throat> this here is our name tag. You're supposed to have your name tag on uh, on the minnow trap. You have your name tag, uh, and you have to have a fishing license to put a minnow trap in too. So we put the name tag on the outside, that way uh, nobody has to chisel it out to see whose it is. And, and, uh, <clears throat> there's our boards we use. Put them down on each side of the hole. Table in the middle. This is the best thing. You come here a week later. Never froze over. Throw some snow over top of her. Never freezes. We used to use evergreen boughs. They get frozen in the hole, and you always got to cut new ones down. And we we started using styrofoam for a while, and then styrofoam would freeze in, and you'd come here and you'd have busted styrofoam sticking all over the hole in the water, and leaving that junk laying around. So we made these frames up, put the styrofoam in them. Put a couple brace in to keep the styrofoam in. Now you come here, last winter we cut the hole this time of year and we never chiseled her out all winter. Just come once in a while and take the snow off and move them up a little bit from the slush. And uh, they last all winter long. You never have to chisel a hole out. <clears throat> Don't take much snow on top because they got the styrofoam in there. Uh, it really insulates the felt. And there we have her. Not all done. Come back tomorrow and get some minnows. Head her back up to the truck now and see if we can get that Dodge turned around and get out of here without no problems. This will be the last time we come in with the vehicle. Next time we come in, probably tomorrow, we'll have the We'll have the snow machine there, so we'll have no problems for sure. <clears throat> we thought maybe the, the trail might have been broke in down from the lake. A couple of local trappers uh, 
crop this area, but I guess they just haven't got to this area yet. So uh, we had to wait through the snow, but we won't hop that for tomorrow. We're going to bring the snow machines after today. That'll uh, that'll save a little bit of walking and playing around with the truck on the road. <coughs> so we'll uh, we're going to leave the lake there now, and we'll. Uh, Probably have a little break on the way back out again and we'll see you soon.